Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Unconventional Outdoorsman. Today we're going to be doing a straight out of the box knife review. This is a Ruko quality since 1956. It's just, the name of it is just the field knife or the outfitter, whichever one you want it to be. Outfitter goes here, there's a field knife thing here. So I picked this up at a, um, a farm and home store near me. Uh, for twenty dollars, nineteen ninety nine, I think with tax it came to about twenty one fifty, something like that. So I'm gonna open this up, and uh, we're gonna review it. You know, for the reason I'm doing this, a lot of you younger guys are just getting into outdoors uh, kind of things. And uh, for example, you may not have a lot of money. Believe me, um, money. The economy is rough right now. So let's. I'm gonna test and see if this uh, tool right here is a. Uh, a good quality and a good price. I mean, 20 bucks means a fixed blade, you know. As everybody knows, I love fixed blades. So I've got one of my favorites here to compare it to. But um, something funny before we even get into this. You know what I notice about most of these knives like this? You need a knife to get into your knife. <laughs> I'll quit with the dad jokes. So I'm going to have to use my Ozark Mountain here to cut her on open. Hopefully I don't cut my hand off. You know you've got a sharp knife and you can leave cut the plastic like that. Wow, that was pretty loud. Also, when you cut that open, be very careful because that sharp plastic will cut you. So it comes with a sheath. It is a very... Actually, it feels like a pretty good leather sheath. I'm not going to lie. I mean, usually the thing I test first on these sheaths, these holsters, are the, is this little handle here. It looks like this buckle down here is pretty strong, but we will test that. I mean, it's pretty thick leather. I mean, if I do have to say so, it's got this nice little buckle up here to put your handle in. Got the name Ruko right there. This is not a sponsored video, by the way. Didn't know if anybody would have thought that, but I guess I should just say it. All right, let's grab the Nife out of there. So, already holding, I've got big old hands. Uh, it is a little bit uncomfortable to hold. The, the texture of the handle... Um, Leaves, a, leaves much to be desired. It's kind of a weird angle, weird grip. Um, the, let's see how sharp it is. It looks fairly sharp. It feels pretty sharp just out of the box. Looks like a, let's see. It's a 3 and 7 8 inch drop point blade. Um, looks like a, I can't speak English, so this is hard. A fen, fenal it's got a weird plastic handle here. It's an ABS plastic handle, so that is something that's not good. But, I mean, hey, that's better than not having a knife. It's stainless steel, so it's not going to rust on you um, hardly at all, which is good, for especially in getting in the outdoors. So what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to carry this on me for a few days and see how I like it. So let's see how it fits in the sheath. Let's do a quick overview of that. It's pretty, pretty good looking, honestly. The blade is pretty thick. Only one C on this thick, though. So, you always want to test this. If they have a buckle up here, pull on it a few times to make sure it stays in there. Because if it doesn't stay in there, it's going to come out, fall on the ground, or stab you. And you don't want that. So, overall, this whole thing weighs less than a pound. Less than probably six ounces, even. Um, the leather is reinforced on the bottom here. So, to to keep the blade from cutting through and cutting into your pant leg and into your leg. So that is nice. Now, to be able to open it up, you simply do that and you pull. Something I will say, um, this little thin strap of leather right here that connects this uh, buckle part to the regular holster is kind of thin. Um, after a lot of use, I mean, I'm in the outdoors almost every day, whether I'm shooting, fishing, hunting, that is going to probably come off fairly quickly. However, you could probably reinforce that with something. You know, personally, what I like to do is take a since this is black, you could take a little bit of electrical tape and wrap it around there. That, you know, do that, reinforce it a little bit. But, I mean, the leather here seems pretty strong. Nothing too weak about it. It's kind of got some, like, I guess this is faux leather, honestly. It's got some fabric in here. Let's see what kind of sheath it has. It says genuine leather sheath, but I don't believe them. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, but it just doesn't, it doesn't feel like real leather. I don't know what kind of animal they're taking it off of. Maybe it's an animal to grow in the lab. But anyways, uh, the sheath, 
straight out of the box without having to buy a new one that is uh, slightly better or anything. I'd probably give this about a 7 out of a 10. I like the color of it. I like the shape. Most of my leather sheaths, I like to come at the drop point angle like that. I do appreciate how it does have the, the buckle right here. That is kind of nice instead of a little loosey-goosey strap like we have on this. That is not something you want. If you can get a leather buckle for it, that is going to pretty much make sure that your knife is going to stay in your holster as long as you want it to. The little pant or the little belt loop thing here is very sturdy. I like the uh, quality of these little stamped pins on here or the stamped metal. It's holding in there very good. Knife. So that's 7 out of 10. There are far better holsters, but there are worse ones. The knife here, 3.78, 3.75 inches or something like that. Handle, a little bit awkward. The texture of it, it's very smooth. I could see if your hand is wet or, for example, if you've been cleaning fish or an animal or whatever, um, it could kind of get gunked up a little bit and not, you know, it may not be able to get the best grip. Also, if you tend to do this, you're going to cut your hand open because a blade, um, you do have a little bit of an angle there, but you could probably do that, but I don't see anybody doing that. Stainless steel keeps it from rusting. I will make a second video to see how this sharpens up, but it feels pretty damn sharp. Excuse my language, but let's see. This is 440A steel, so that is very mild steel. I wouldn't say it's weak, and I would definitely not say it's strong. Made in China, so that's a down thing, but I'll tell you what, overall for 20 bucks, you can't go wrong with this Ruko. I guess that is a overseas brand. I mean, they've been around for 60 years. I mean, you got to be doing something right to be around for 60 years. I mean, that's more than I can count because I can only count past, I can't count past three, so yeah. So there is the Ruko Outfitter Field Knife for $20. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're still watching, please do me a huge favor and click that subscribe button if you haven't. And then click the notification bell. Turn it to all notifications. That way you know every time I post a new video. Thank you guys so much and peace.